Hello guys and welcome to another immersive engineering video. Today we're going to talk about weapons. More specifically we will talk about the revolver and the railgun. First, revolver. And we'll start about talking about the workbench. The engineer's workbench, it's required for a lot of these things. Treated woods and the crafting table. You have seen it before perhaps, but we haven't used it a lot yet. So the revolver, a few crafting steps, treated sticks and copper gives you wooden grips, some steel gives you the revol revolver hammer, more steel to get a barrel, and some more steel and iron mechanical components to get the revolver drum. Finally, we can now craft the revolver. Okay, looks like this, nice. You shift right click to insert your ammo in here. But how do we make ammo? Well, let's talk about that. The standard ammo, the common projectiles, you can, uh, you need an engineer's blueprint to do this and lapis, paper, gunpowder, copper, nothing strange. And if you shift on this one, then we can see what we can craft with that. And five types of ammo, it looks like this. So this is where we put the ingredients and this is what you will get. Okay, so as you might have seen, empty casing, empty casing, empty casing, empty shell. We need them for all our, all our uh, cartridges. So first we craft them. Copper gives you casings and copper paper and the rose red gives you shells. All right, simple, good. Let's get a few more of that in case we need it. I don't think we need it. Um, all right, ammo. So the five types of ammo we can do with the common, the five types of common projectiles we can craft. So let's start with this one. This is the Casal cartridge, gunpowder, lead and empty casing. Okay graphical bug. So lots of these. And if we just shift right click and we take a few of these. Oh, just a few. And well, simply right click to shoot. Like that. And let's see. Yeah, quite good damage actually. Okay. So uh, we can take a look at the other ones as well. You craft them in the same way. So this will give you the armor piercing cartridge, Constantin steel nugget. So let's try it out quickly like that. And let's see. Oh, that also hurt. Sorry, but uh, yeah, nice. And the other ones, they work exactly in the same way. So we can get the buckshot from uh, gunpowder and iron grits. We will get some uh, high explosive cartridges from TNT and gunpowder. Looks fun. And the, finally we have the silver cartridge. Against werewolves perhaps, I don't know. So let's see if we can remove these and try out one of those. <laughs> Nice. All right. But there are d more types of ammo that you can use. Uh, you have this one. The, uh, it's another blueprint, but you can't craft it. So it, this one is used to make uh, specialized projectiles. And we have the two variants in here. To get this blueprint, you will basically need to trade for it or find it in a dungeon chest. So uh, some adventures to get it. And the first one is gunpowder, coarse dust, and a glass bottle. This will give you the file cartridge. cartridge. And I will talk about it in a little while. And then we have the other type, the dragon's breath. This is uh, this is a close range weapon. To and I will demonstrate it like that. So it's a flamethrower alike weapon 
so uh, for very close range. And then we have this interesting one, the file cartridge. But I can't really use it like this. Well, it works, but go around. Well, nothing happens. That's because we need to do something else with it. So let's remove that and take a look at what we do. You take the file cartridge and you combine it with a potion. It can be a splash potion, it can be a normal potion. But the thing is that you combine it to get the, the, the potion into the cartridge. So here's an instant damage one and we can make slowness perhaps and poison like that. Let's see if we can load well damage oh, that that's no fun we can use the poison instead so that if the as you might expect they both get affected by the poison all right fun and uh, so that's all the types of ammo that you can use just uh, load them and use them as, as you want to but we have a few more items to cover for the revolver. First, we have this one, the revolver speed loader, iron and steel, nothing strange. And we have, and all right, this one, if we shift right click it, and we can load it with instant damage. When you are firing the last shot, in this, uh, in the normal, well, in the normal revolver, um, let's see, we have. I placed only one here, so as soon as I fire the last one, then, as you might have seen down in the corner, it got automatically reloaded with everything I had in the speed loader, which is now empty. So you can have a few of these in your backup. So as soon as you uh, when you're empty in your uh, in your mag, then they will automatically reload. So very convenient. And we have two final things for the revolver. We have the extended mag, copper, steel, iron parts, nothing strange. And then finally, with iron swords, steel, and uh, some treated wood, you get the bayonet. And they works exactly like you would like to actually. So here we have the bayonet and the extended mag. And if we take a look at this, you can see down in the corner we have more uh, ammo to load. And you can't really see it, but the uh, well, you can see it on the weapon uh, <laughs> weapon model. There's a bayonet there, and if I that's a good example here, it gives damage at the same amount as an iron sword. I think. And if we load it with whatever slowness, I guess it'll kill him. But I got the slowness as well. Okay, fun. And you can also remove them in the same workbench. Nothing, uh, nothing strange. All right, we have one final part. Let's take this one. No, and remove the bayonet and take this baby. Electron wire coils in glass gives you the amplifier electron tubes. You can use it to uh, on your, you can see it on the weapon model. When you shoot with this one, the, um, the, the thing you're shooting at, the player or the, uh, the mob, they will get a short period of stun uh, applied to them and if they have anything powered, they will also be lose some power. So uh, more of a PvP PvP thing than uh, than versus mobs, I guess. All right, let's change side and go to the railgun. The railgun is a slightly different type of weapon. Um, it's crafted with some barrels, give whips, high voltage capacitors, and electron wire coils. So more expensive, of course, and if you take a look at it, you can see that it has energy stored 
zero at the moment. So you need to charge it and then you need a charging station. Place it in like this and you craft the station with some glass, treated wood, iron, medium voltage connector, nothing strange really. Um, you can use a wire like this and right now it's empty so if we just throw the switch you can see it loading and I guess the All right now everything is filled up so take it out of there and now it's loaded you can see it here filled up you can also have it the, the charging station standing just next to a capacitor so easy to use. Ammo wise you have rods that you shoot. They go into this um, in, into the gun and it well you throw the rod through the weapon and against your target. Iron ingots, iron rod. So let's try that. You hold your right mouse button and until the meter goes up to 99 and then you just let it go. If you just release the button, then it will go to zero again. So let's try it out. Having a target. Sorry. Not very effective, but perhaps we can find something more fun. Uh, we have the steel rod so just have your ammo in your uh, in your inventory then it will be shot looks the same but let's see the damage slightly better but perhaps we can uh, perhaps we can do even better the final ammo type the graphical graphic Graphite electrode, sorry, uh, works slightly different to a craft. We covered it in the first video, I think, over there. So if you have any questions about that, then uh, go back to that video. It looks the same when you fire, but it has some more damage to give. Let's see. Yeah, you. Won. Oh, I'm empty. We need to go recharge. Okay, good. So apparently charge was a problem here. Uh, go away. Two shot. I guess it's quite okay. So we can also upgrade this. We can, first we can craft the, with some copper ingot and glass, the precision scope. Zoom to zoom, or <laughs> scroll to zoom in. So uh, I will demonstrate it in uh, just a second. And finally, the additional capacitors, high voltage, capacitors and some high voltage wire coils looks like this so if we take all right i had one here already so let's take a look at it this is upgraded with uh, both of them so if i just hold shift and then i can scroll to zoom in and out very convenient and this is also oh i have no ammo left so that's the problem with these graphite, they, uh, they don't stack, <laughs> as the other do, as you can see. So now, let's take a look. Perfect. And the capacitor just adds more, more to the uh, energy storage, 12,000 instead of 8,000. So. Basically, that's it about the gun. You can upgrade both the revolver and the railgun with shaders. If you take a look at those, there are quite a few to choose from. I won't go into detail, but uh, they, at least it looks really nice with these colors. And you can select it whichever you want, if you can find them. So that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, drop the question in the comment section. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.